Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney. So today I'm going to be filming a long overdue and long awaited update to my Luna photo card collection. Um, so I have my Luna photo cards all in this uh, large three ring binder here. Um, when I'm going through the cards, I'm not going to be going as in depth, I don't think, as I did in my last video. I will link my last video up here um, if you guys want to check that out. In that video, I think I talked about who I pulled in the albums and kind of like a backstory as well um, for how I got into Luna and how I started collecting them. So for this one, I think I'm going to try and keep it quicker um, and just kind of show you the cards and like talk about anything that I kind of think of as I go. But let's go to get started. So on the cover of my Luna binder, I have the Olivia Moon calendar. So this came from the Luna Birth concert. Um, I think I think it was sold in a set of all 12 but uh, I just bought Olivia's because she is my bias. Um, so for Luna, I collect OT12 for um, album photo cards as well as kind of like the special event photo cards. Um, but for anything that's like not really like a photo card, I just collect Olivia. So I'll kind of show you guys what I mean as I go through the binder. But anyway, I have this moon thing on the front and then we'll get right in. So, um, I start off with pre-debut cards and I go obviously kind of in chronological order of release. Um, I guess one thing to keep in mind with my collection is all of my cards are first press, all of these pre-debut cards, because when I first started collecting Luna back in... I first started buying the albums for Luna in early 2018, um, and I first started collecting the photo cards that I was missing in like early 2019. And at that point, there were no reprints, essentially, uh, so every card that I got, like, was first press, because that was the only thing that was available. Um, so they all have these foil backs, like you'll see as I flip through them. But yes, anyway, um, so the way I do this organization is I'll do Heejin, Heejin, Hyunjin, Hyunjin, and then I'll kind of do the, like, duo or group cards, and then I'll do the next solo member, if that makes sense. I think you guys will kind of see what I mean as we go. But anyway, these are Heejin, Hyunjin, and the first um, Hessel cards. And then Yojin. And then this is the beginning of Luna 1 3rd down here. And then more Luna 1 3rd normal version. And then we have the limited version cards. Uh, this card was like the hardest one, I think, to find for me for Luna 1 3rd. I don't know why, but that card is pretty rare. And we have Vivi. This Vivi card right here I think is my favorite, um, like Luna card in general. I think it's really pretty. And then we get Love and Evil. Normal and regular. Or normal and regular. Regular and limited. <laughs> One thing I like about Luna 1 3rd is that um, all of their cards have the colored backs, whereas for um, Odd Eye Circle and YY by Y, only the limited cards have the colored backs. The normal versions just have white backs, which, I mean, I guess it's not a big deal, but I just kind of like all the colors. I think it's pretty. And then we get into Kim Lip and Jin Soul. I really like this card as well. I feel like that's like a fan favorite card. And then the beginning of Mix and Match, normal and limited. And then more Max and Match, Normal and Limited. My um, Cherry Max and Match card is a little bit damaged down here. I've, I've shown this, I think, before on camera. But there, it's like the owner, like the original owner, I guess, um, like taped it up somehow. So there's this like tape mark right around here. And then there's also this like goop that I can't really get off right here. I've like thought about using Goo Gone, but I'm like incredibly uh, like nervous to use Goo Gone on a sheet of paper like this so I haven't really done anything with it other than just kind of thought about it um because it's not like the front there's something wrong with the front the front looks good but the the back looks like that which kind of can annoy me a little bit but it's not a big deal um another thing too is for this Jin Soul Mix and Match Limited card um the like Luna logo is upside down. This was like a common misprint for this card. I don't know if there are, like are any that are not misprinted, but it doesn't really bother me, but it's just something I kind of think about. And then this is the only card that I'm missing out of my pre-debut collection. So the limited group Maximatch card is like the rarest card. Um, I found it on eBay recently, but the 
seller wanted $450 for it and like no <laughs> like <laughs> that's not gonna happen um so I have not bought that from them I keep hoping that they're gonna like realize that the price they're asking is incredibly ridiculous but they have a couple other like limited Luna cards for also really ridiculous prices like they're asking for this cherry card $450 for this one um which is insane like I think I paid $80 for this and I didn't pay that much more for Kim Lipper Gin Souls either so I don't really understand where the $450 is coming from but anyway we can now get into why 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 even choose cards and then the final pre-debut solo cards go on in Olivia's and then Beauty and the Beat and then we get into debut era so this is plus plus I really don't like these plus plus normal A cards to be like quite honest um, they're very like washed out and very like bright like the flash was all the way on um, I do really like the the normal B set, which I'll show in a second, but this normal A set, like, like what is Jinsel like? <laughs> like, what did they do to her makeup or her whatever in that and go on? Like, it's so bright. But anyway, I really like these, so I like the normal B set, like, a lot. This is probably one of my favorite sets they've done. And then I quite like these two um, unit cards as well. Then we get into uh, XX. Or Multiply Multiply, I think is the actual name for it, but whatever. I like these, but I wish that there was like a bigger difference between the, the A set and the B set. So this is the normal A, and these are the two limited A cards. And this is the normal B. So like... The cards are very similar, they're just a different outfit and kind of like a different pose. But I wish that there was like like truly different concepts between uh, normal A and normal B. Kind of like there was with Plus Plus where the normal A cards were like very different from the normal B cards. Um, but it's not a big deal, just something I kind of wish. Um, and then the duo cards, which I like all of these duo cards quite a lot. Then we have to Hash era. So this is the A set. So Hash was the first set where they only had like an A set and a B set. They didn't have um, like two sets of all 12 members and then like unit and group sets, um, which was, I mean, it was nice in terms of like collecting. Like I didn't have to do that much like extra like I did with um, Plus Plus or XX, but I kind of didn't like it at the same time because it kind of defeated the purpose of having like the limited A and limited B album like in general because the photo book is the same for those. The only difference was the cover and the CD. Like literally that was the only difference. So it kind of just felt like a waste to get the limited A and limited B uh, compared to the normal A and normal B, but whatever. I don't run BBC's business department, so they can make those kind of choices. But I quite like these cards. Um, these are the first selfie cards we got for an album. Um, so that's really cool. I really like Heejin's card. I just wish it wasn't sideways. I really don't like when they do um, like one sideways card, like one horizontal card and all the other cards are vertical. I don't really care about it in terms of the front, but it drives me insane in the back how this one is like sideways and all the other ones are the same direction. But anyway, so here's the last two members, Go One and Olivia. And then we have the B set. I quite like all of these cards as well. I really like Yojin's card. And then Go One and Olivia. I kind of want to rearrange this so I don't have so much just like dead space back here, but I don't really know what to do. I might need to figure something out, but I don't really like just having two cards and then like the rest of the um, page blank. But that's something I need to figure out. So these cards are kind of like the special event cards um, that come in like sets of 12. So we'll go through them one by one, but up first we have the transparent cards. So these are from Cinema Theory. Um, I need to get some like paper or something to put behind them so you can actually like really see them because right now you you can't really see them they don't really show up very well um, but these are the first six members and then these are the second six I do have the sheet that came with it so this is what came in the little packaging I have that behind Olivia because um, she is my bias so I want her to be able to see her the best but I do need to get like individual sheets of paper to put behind all of them but I don't have a printer, so I don't really have any paper, so 
it hasn't happened yet. Um, these cards, I think, what did this come from? Yeah, Meetin' Up. Yes, Meetin' Up. So these are the cards that um, you could buy in a set at Meetin' Up at their fan meeting. Um, for these, this is like honestly not my favorite collection of photo cards. I quite like Heejin's set because I think her cards are all pretty different. But I think the issue that I had with this set in general was so many of these cards are like so similar. Like, like these cards are pretty much all the same for Vivi. Like these are pretty much the same card for Yojin. Like, I don't know. It's just like these cards are basically the same. Like there's just so many cards that it feels like overkill because so many of these are the same. Like I like all the pictures, they're all really pretty, but like like Eve's set, like these are all basically the same photo. <laughs> so I feel like they could have like curated it better and maybe only done like two or three cards or had them do like different outfits or different sets or something to make it a little bit more um, unique from like card to card. But I think this was their very first time they ever did, <coughs> I think this was the, <coughs> sorry. I think this was the very first time they ever did um, selfie cards, so it kind of makes sense that they didn't really know what they were doing. Um, but yeah. These are the Seasons Greetings cards. This came with the 2020 Seasons Greetings. Um, I like this set a lot more than I do the Meetin' Up. I think they did a much better job in terms of like having different cards. They kind of had like two concepts, like one concept got three cards, the other concept got, or no, one concept got like two or three cards, the other concept got two or three cards, kind of depending on um, the member, but yeah. I think Hustles are the only ones that are like pretty much the same for all of them. I quite like this card of Yojin's. I like Vivi's cards. I like these Kimlip set. I really like this card of Cherry. I like both um, all the cards that were in this kind of like setting. And then Chew and Go On. And then Olivia. And then finally we get to the Hash Showcase cards. I think these are the best ones they've done in terms of like these larger sets. Um, Cause this one, each member kind of did like three cards in one concept and three cards in another, which it looks really nice laid out in my binder that way. Um, but I think it also was like a good balance of having like multiple cards from the same concept versus like them all looking the same. Um, so anyway. I quite like Yojin's set right here. And Vivi's set, I like both of both of her kind of sets. I think they're really pretty. Kimlip, I would like her sets a lot, but the blue contacts that she was wearing during the sew-up promotions are like a little bit creepy. It reminds me of that meme of that girl. <laughs> like the, I think it's like an anime thing. I'll, I'll try and find the meme and I'll insert it so you guys know what I'm talking about. But it reminds me of that every time I see it. And then Jinsel. And then I quite like these cards from Cherry. This is like a really cute outfit. I really like um, the picture she took in that. And then I really like this Eve set right here too. And then Chu wearing the AirPods, iconic. And then go on, and Olivia. I really like Olivia's second set right here in the black outfit, I think it's really pretty. Okay, and then this is all like Orbit fan club stuff. Um, so I was a member of Orbit 1.0 and then I'm also a member of Orbit 2.0. So obviously I got all the stuff that came with the kits for those. Um, so these are the message cards that came with Orbit 1.0. I really like these message cards. I think they're a really good size um, compared to the Orbit 2.0 cards, which look like that. These are a lot larger, um, but I, I like the smaller ones, honestly. <laughs> it's a lot easier to store in my binder. But anyway, we can flip through them. For these, I really like VVs. I like the kind of, I don't want to say like yellower lighting, but like the the warmer lighting. I don't like the ones where they're a little bit more washed out. Because I think it, it obviously washes out their faces, but um, I like kind of the warmer lighting a little bit, but I guess that's personal preference. And then these are the uh, cards that came with the Orbit 2.0 kit. I like, I pretty much like all of these. I think they all did a pretty good job. Plus I like the outfits, like the kind of picnic concept was cute. And then these are the message cards. I quite like the photos for this. I just wish they weren't so large because 
Um, these like don't, these like fit in this, in these two pocket sleeves, but like not really. They're a little bit too tall, um, but I really hated having them in like one pocket sleeves, so they're in here, but they, they stick out a little bit here at the top. So I wish that they were smaller, like the ones for Orbit 1.0, but it's whatever. But I like this concept. I think it's cute. I think all the members look really good as well. Sometimes when you get these where it's like every member takes a photo, some of the members don't really look very good, but I think uh, this time they did a good job in making everyone look cute. I really like Go One's picture. And then obviously they wrote on the back like messages to orbits and whatever um, in Korean. I cannot read it, but if you want to, I'm sure there's translations like online on Twitter or something. Um, but now we're going to get into my kind of more specific Olivia stuff. Um, so up here on the top, this is actually an attendance card um, from when I went to the Hi Hi broadcast. So I was in South Korea uh, in September 2018. Um, I was just like on vacation. Like I, I hadn't planned to do this, but like as I was there, the opportunity kind of like fell into my lap. Um, but I ended up going to see them perform, like them do the pre-recording of Hi Hi at the show on September 11th, I think is the day it was. Um, and this is the attendance card you get for when you go to those pre-recordings. Um, you get the stickers for different things. So um, if you are an Orbit fan club member, um, I think if you bought the album, like the physical copy of the album, and if you had downloaded the song like on Melon or whatever, you know, streaming service they have in Korea, um, you would get a sticker. So I did each of those things. And then you get a sticker for each day that you go to the pre-recording. So I only went for the one day, so I only got the one sticker. Um, but this is kind of a way that you don't have to show that stuff every time. Like you don't have to show that you bought the physical album every time and that kind of stuff. Um, so it makes it easier for you, like if you go to them a lot. Um, but it was really fun. I really enjoyed going to the pre-recording. Um, I was, it was us and like another group that like, uh, like us, I mean like the Orbits, like the Luna fans and then another group because neither fandom was like very large. Um, so it was us and the fans of the boys so they were performing whatever song they were performing in september 2018 um but yeah it was a really good time i had a i had a fun time um but yeah that's that and then this right here is from luna birth it is olivia's little like photo card photo set i don't really know what this thing's called um but yes it looks like that and then yeah the back of the um, attendance card I think is really cute. It's like a OT12 picture of all of them. Um, here's some more kind of like concert things. So this is the postcard from Luna Birth that you got if you were an Orbit member. So I obviously I didn't go to the Luna Birth concert but I bought this um, like after the fact. So there's that. This right here is the Lunaverse um, photo set. It's like an accordion photo set where you could rip off the different members. Um, so I got Olivia for that. And then this up here is the Hash uh, Showcase postcard. So I got Olivia's for that one too. And then this is the mini poster from Lunaverse. Mine is a little bit bent. You can't see it on the camera, but, and you can't really see it in person either, but it was a little bit bent. So I'm hoping by it being at the very back here of the binder, it'll flatten out. Um, and then this is the scratch poster from Lunaverse. I really like this uh, poster a lot. The back, it does have a little bit of um, like staining on the back. I don't really think you can see it on camera, but that's okay. And then these are kind of all the things that fit in a nine pocket. So these are the Polaroids from Luna Studio. And then I think this is from Line and Up or something. I forget what event this is from, um, but I kind of have these in chronological order. Um, and then the Luna Studio Polaroids. These are the ID card or the ID stamps from, I think these are from Luna Studio as well, but I would not bet my life on it. Um, this is the signed scratch card. So there is a signature, if I can still focus. There we go. So there is a signature. There you go, if you can see it. Um, so yeah, she did sign this, which is cool. And then and the final thing, so we have the My Music Taste um, card. This came if you ordered the Hash album off of My Music Taste. I did not. I ordered Hash from 
K-pop town maybe or something like that. I forget where I ordered it from. Maybe Choice Music LA. Actually, I think I, I did order it from Choice Music LA maybe. Um, so I had to buy this after the fact. I don't really like my music tastes like as a company. They're kind of annoying to me. So I never buy from them. Uh, so I bought this uh, secondhand off of someone on eBay, I think. And then finally, we have the Luna Birth ID card right here. So the only thing I'm missing for Olivia is the Lunaverse ID card, which looks like this, just obviously taken for Lunaverse. And then I am missing the profile page from Lunaverse. I have bought that, but it's at the Japonica warehouse. So I need to see if they can ship it to me with DHL because for a while Japonica, I don't think was using DHL really. Um, they were only using EMS and EMS is shut down from Japan. So I'll have to reach out and see if they can ship it to me with DHL. But anyway, that is essentially my entire Luna collection. Um, I did buy the light stick last night. So the, um, I'm filming this the day after the light stick went on sale for the Orbit 2.0 um, fan club members. So I did buy that last night. So I'll be getting those photo cards that come with it. I don't know if the Orbit 2.0 pre-order also comes with the postcards. So I might end up buying like a second, <laughs> a second light stick. <laughs> Um, for the postcards and then just like reselling the light stick by itself. Um, I haven't decided if I want to do that or not, um, but that's something I am <laughs> considering. Um, I did also get the cape and the little um, light stick holder thing. Um, so I will be doing unboxings once I get those in, obviously. Um, but that, those come with photo cards. And then I think Luna's going to do a comeback here maybe in the next like two or so months. Um, so obviously I'll be collecting all the photo cards that come with that. Um, and I'm hopeful that they will put the showcase um, merch online and I can actually buy it for once because typically it goes so fast because they don't stock enough. So I'm hoping that they kind of have seen how popular Luna is so they'll actually start stocking enough shit so I can buy it. Um, but anyway, that's kind of like future plans, I guess, for Luna. Uh, but this is everything that I have right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be filming an updated BTS uh, photo card collection here at some point once... I think once I finish getting in my New York Blu-ray cards, because I'm missing two of those that are like somewhere in the mail system, um, I think once I get those two cards, I'll probably film it. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'll probably film it then, because I can always just do an update later on once I get like all the memories cards and stuff. So keep an eye out for that, because I probably should be filming it within the next month or so. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I have for today. I will see you guys later.